be that accessible. If the signatures are good, if everything checks out, there's no doubt this is going to end up being one of the rarest items I'm ever going to see. The big thing is, are they real and what's your opinion on what it's worth? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, Rick, is look at it under magnification. Right there, ballpoint pen. Um, and you take a look right here. Oxidized, it's a little older. You know, you could tell. Nice aged ink. So we know we've got live ink on here. That's a great sign. The next thing I want to do is take a look at the examples I have on file. The Robert Plant signature is something I take a look at all the time he would just flow through the signature. He had this big R, and then the rest would just become all a big flow. But I want to go back to the bottom signature. Whole name is connected, and he's doing the same thing here. John Paul Jones, probably the nicest signature in the band. The last one I want to take a look at, the Jimmy Page. And that, again, is just all over the board, but I love this flow and spontaneity. Okay, so it's all 